Montana's news leader. This is the MTN 530 News. Oh, it's a huge honor. Um, you know, for the category that we're in, we're one of 30 in the nation. A new Billings favorite is now among the best restaurants in the country. We'll show you how the marble table has captured Magic City hearts and stomachs. Plus, a smelly problem has hit Billings, and now the mayor is pitching in to clean up the mess. That story in just a bit. But first, water woes. Billings schools near the top of the list when it comes to lead in the water. Tonight, we're hearing what they're doing to solve the problem. Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Russ Riesinger. Lead in the water, it's an issue throughout the state, but especially here in Billings. Just take a look at this list here behind me. At least 17 schools in the Magic City found dangerous levels in their water. And several others in the area, including Shepherd, Huntley Project, Joliet, and Park City. Now the question becomes, what's being done to clean up the pipes? Arlena Howder went out today to find those answers. Dangerous levels of lead have been detected in schools across Montana, including two dozen schools here in Billings. Tonight, an update to a story we brought you last week on what's being done to alleviate the problem. This sink at Skyview High School no longer works. The faucet is gone, and there's a good reason for that. Until fairly recently, it was spewing out water that by definition is considered to be hazardous waste. I'm still not sure why it's quite that high, but uh, um, I'm sure it's just from the, stale, the stagnant water sitting in it for years. Years and years. This sink is an extreme example, but it highlights a problem appearing in schools across Montana. Sinks and drinking fountains with lead levels considered to be dangerous to children's health. We had always tested the, the water in the schools, but we did it differently. We tested one fixture at every school and, and did it every couple years and and kind of monitored where it was. A new rule implemented by the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services changed the process of testing for lead in school fixtures. Billings Public School Facility Services has been adhering to the federal limits of 0 0.015 parts per billion. The new rule lowered that limit down to 0 0.005 and they wanted every fixture in every school tested, so it's a huge undertaking. Facility Services tested lead levels last summer when school was out, but without students or staff in school, water lines stayed static which could lead to higher lead level results. What I've found out is is that the the water in the lines had sat all summer for the most part and so it kind of gave false readings. Billings is just one of the many school districts in the state trying to address the problem. Priority number one is retesting these fixtures when water lines aren't stagnant. That will begin Friday. The second is we'll continue changing the ones we can without shutting the schools down. And then this summer, we'll, we'll go through and turn the water off to the schools and change all those that we weren't able to. Facility Services has already changed some fixtures that tested high for lead. As for the theater sink that tested at 7,800 PPB at Skyview High School, it hasn't been used in years. It's a, an off-limits area that only the two custodians the day custodians have a key to. But even so, a lot of work will need to be done in dozens of area schools before these sinks and fountains can be turned back on. This is the first year of, of doing this, so we're learning a lot as we go too. Uh, but we're all after the same goal for the clean drinking water too. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News. Well, in just 15 months, the Marble Table on Montana Avenue has become one of the most popular new restaurants in Billings. Now it could be called the best new restaurant in the country. Casey Conlin has our latest Positively Montana story. It's a nice looking pork shop there, Caroline. Thank you. If there's one word you can use to describe the marble table experience, it's family. When you come in the door, they make a point of having Jen take you to your table, which I feel like I've never experienced at a restaurant before. Hi, welcome in. Have you been in before? We want you to feel like your family. We want you to feel like you're sitting down at our table. This is our home. With four kids, co-owners Jason and Jen Marble already have a big family in the traditional sense. They're, they're all tables. Okay, thank you. But it's 10 times bigger here. Half jokingly say we have 40 children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Between our staff and our actual children. Christopher. The concept seems to be working. Last month, the Marble Table was named one of 30 semifinalists for the James Beard Foundation's best new restaurant in the country. It's like the Oscars for food. But someone else has to nominate you for this list. We don't know who. We have no idea. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't even come forward since you learned. No. Nope. No. Thank you, Chef. No. It's tough narrowing it down because superlatives seem to come out of everyone's mouth. 
there is a sort of specialness about everything here. Yeah, that pork chop was, it was as amazing. good as it gets. The homemade pickles on there? Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that's good. The restaurant has been Jason and Jen's dream for a long time. Chef Jason ran a number of kitchens around the city. Uber Brew, Last Chance, Enzo. But the couple still never expected to have their own so early. One day he told me, he's like, hey, Lilac's for sale. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, he's like, yeah, I think I we should buy it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we didn't think we'd ever get a loan or be able to afford it, any of that. And eventually got to a point where we couldn't say no. <laughs> They've had a good run of fortune ever since. One they hope continues March 16th as they try to become the first James Beard finalist in Billings history. But in true fashion, they're not just in it for themselves. No, I'd oh. rather be hiding in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of restaurants in this town. There's a lot of restaurants in this area that are phenomenal. And if by us getting that semi-finalist, if we can bring more light into those amazing restaurants that we love, that helps everybody. This is like nothing I've been to in Billings, for sure. No, it was cool. That's all the praise the marbles will ever need. Casey Conlon, MTN News. Looking for more positive news? We've got a newscast just for you, highlighting all of the good things happening across Montana. It airs Saturdays and Sundays on our Q2 streaming app, and you can also find those stories anytime on demand at ktvq.com. Another cold overnight, especially across the eastern plains, the blue shaded areas, wind chill values could be as cold as perhaps 30 below by the time we start getting into the morning hours. It will be chilly around the Billings area. Again, these are going to be the feels like temperatures first thing in the day could feel like 25, 35 below up into northeastern Montana. But then past tomorrow, we start looking into Friday night and Saturday and the winds take over to the west of Billings. And a lot of those top wind gusts could be hitting 60 to maybe 75 miles an hour, especially in the mountain foothills around Livingston, then up into the Rocky Mountain front. That'll push out and start to warm the temperatures up. We'll talk about the effect for the weekend coming up in just a few minutes from now. Well, here's some news to celebrate. Thanks to the Billings community once again for stepping up to help others. The Call for Kids Mediathon is about to wrap up. A day-long event to raise money for St. Vincent's Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. As of now, the total amount raised $106,000. The goal today was $100,000. And there's still time to help out by calling 406-869-3669 or text KIDS to 32037 or online svhkids.org. Well, still to come on the MTN 530 News here on Q2, Billings dog owners are failing to pick up after their pets. Find out more about this stinky situation. And in sports, March Madness kicks into full gear around the state. All the highlights coming up in just a bit. From Montana's news leader, you're watching the MTN 530 News. We're out here at the Shiloh Conservation Area. A citizen wrote into Mayor Bill Cole about concerns with people not picking up after their dogs. The mayor decided to check it out himself, uh, came out here and saw the problem, and he also shares that concern. Mayor Bill Cole cleans up part of the trail. He and the council received a letter stating, this situation is the worst it has ever been. Many dog owners do not care about the unsightly and stomach-turning mess. A uh, concerned citizen was complaining about the amount of uh, dog droppings around the Shiloh Conservation Area. This is such a beautiful area and it's just a shame. In the letter, the citizen also encouraged the mayor and council to take a walk on the trail. The mayor did that and spent an hour at the Shiloh Conservation Area cleaning up after other people's dogs. People need to pick up after their pets. Uh, the city doesn't have the resources to uh, go behind everybody and do that kind of job. So we've all got to pitch in and we all got to pick up after our pets. And it's not just pet dropping, it's also litter. Uh, we can uh, do so much better in keeping our community clean. It was a cold, windy day, so we did not see anyone walking their dogs, but several commented on the mayor's Facebook page. We take a garbage sack and a picker tool and pick up garbage as we walk. Another said, maybe pet owners could take some responsibility. And another post states, it isn't that difficult to pick up. 
According to the National Institutes of Health, it can be a health issue. I'm no expert, but common sense says uh, it doesn't help. And a uh, place uh, like the Trilo Conservation Area is intended uh, to act as a filter for our water. And the mayor has left his tools at the conservation area for others to use. Together we can make uh, all of our parks uh, that much cleaner and that much more enjoyable. In Billings, David J. MTN News. Well, coming up in weather, warmer days are blowing in just in time for the weekend. It'll have all the details coming up next.